Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pastor Sinclair, the baby girl. Welcome if you are new here. Welcome. This is a tribe where we speak everything faith, relationships, and uh, family. So today, today, I don't even know what what I'm talking about, but I I wanna come on and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, vent a little bit it's a mini vent right so yes if you can see my face can you see my face can you see my face guys I don't have eyelashes honestly I, <laughs> I don't have lashes I don't have lashes <laughs> I don't have lashes and yeah it's painful <laughs> it's painful um honestly some of the salons will make us or they will turn us into alcoholics as you can see i'm having a glass of red wine this afternoon and because i'm so depressed so if you saw my video the last video that i posted um, I had lashes, right? So I had gone, I think it was last week, last week early, I went to a salon of which I will not call, uh, I will not uh, name them out. And I went and I did my nails, my, my brows, and then I did my eyelash extensions, right? And so as I was, as they were busy doing the eyelash extensions, you know what? I'm one person, if you follow me, you do know that I'm not that much of a makeup person, but because I was hosting an event, I wanted to look nice. So I decided, okay, let me just go and get um, lash extensions done. Um, that will at least last, you know, uh, a month or two right not knowing that it will literally last me one week and then i will pluck them out so as they were installing the lashes my eyes started burning right my eyes started burning and because i've never done it no i think i have i've done uh eyelash uh, extensions about 10 years 11 years ago so I can't really remember the experience, but even then I remember very well that I did not stay that long with those lashes. But this particular one, so I'm back on this particular one. This particular one, as they were installing these lashes, my eyes were burning. So guys, I don't know. And I kept asking the lady that was um, installing the lashes, is this how it's supposed to be? And she was like, no, don't worry. It's normal, it's common, you know? And I was like, okay. So they did, she did what she was doing, but my eyes were burning, right? My eyes were like literally on fire and I'm like, oh my God, when they say suffer for beauty, this is exactly what I'm going through. So, but then I, I went through, you know, I went through with it and then until she was done and obviously, um, she took like this big fan and then she said I must, um, sit in front of the fence so that it just can dry off the glue i did that and then after that i asked anything um that i need to know how to take care of these lashes there was no um after k you know information shared with me except that don't shower and i was like okay so how am i supposed to bath if i'm not supposed to shower and i ended up asking one of my younger sisters and i said to her well i know that you are you know you are always wearing makeup and stuff like that so how the heck am i supposed to wash my face if i'm not supposed to shower so now she was the one that told me that i just need to you know wash my face around so that was the first day I went home, I slept, my eyes were still burning, right? And I was just, at the back of my mind, I kept thinking that something is definitely wrong. I don't think that people who go and put on eyelash extensions 
actually go through so much pain but i said oh well you know i gave it another day so the second day eyelashes were still painful um, my eyes especially were still painful and still burning the glue was dry there was pieces of glue that were sticking out you know underneath here poking me and i kept trying to pull them out nicely just to pull the glue out and yeah i i said you know what at least my event is the following day so the following day which was a saturday i went i had my event everything went well uh, i was looking nice i mean temporarily for, for for a very short time i was looking nice but when i came home that nagging feeling you know of something is in your eye and that irritation that something is in your eye was there and i kept saying to my daughter please come come and see what, what's happening here so obviously because now the event is done i started checking right i started checking on how to remove these things remember there was no aftercare um treatment or aftercare instructions that i was given so i'm trying to figure out how do i take these things out because i cannot i cannot deal this these lashes they're giving me a headache and i can't even rub my eyes you know there's just one piece right here at the corner that's poking me and then on this other eye also there's another piece poking me so i found out that i needed to use some steam right so i've been trying to use some steam just to make sure that i soften the glue so that i can be able to pull it out did the lashes come out no so yesterday my daughter and i we decided you know what i need these things out of my eyes i don't care how much i've paid for it i just want them out so i told my daughter use hot water and put uh, on the lashes and then try and pull so as she was trying to you know soak them up with that uh, earbud with the hot earbud and then pulling them out afterwards after we finished removing all the lashes guys i looked at my eyes and she was laughing at me and she was saying mom you are bald you don't have lashes and because um yeah because i'm old obviously they're not gonna grow back so guys i'm traumatized like honestly i'm traumatized so i'm yeah i'm drinking myself i'm drinking my sorrows away because i'm traumatized how can i be bold as a bat like this and can you guys see let me just get closer guys they are there's nothing there's absolutely nothing nothing you know i can't even put mascara because there's nothing so moral of the story don't go to this i don't want to say cheap salons don't go to this yeah so, <laughs> rather invest your money and go somewhere where you can get um your, <laughs> your lashes professionally done because sis if you don't you're gonna be bold as a bet so guys please let me know how to grow back my lashes in the comment section please just flood me with comments i need to grow back my lashes i know that you know i'm somebody that is a bit hairy i mean if you can see my natural hair i'm quite i'm quite hairy so please just let me know what to use so that i can grow back my lashes because i can't i can't deal this is traumatizing this is seriously traumatizing so guys please let me know down in the comment section what uh, i can use to grow back my lashes and and recommend a salon which i will most probably be going to sometime next year not not anytime soon that i can actually get my lashes done professionally and uh you know i don't mind 
paying whatever amount that I need to pay. The, the, the main aim is for me not to be putting on these um, artificial lashes because even with that, I struggle putting them on. I, I, I am not good with uh, uh, doing makeup and applying makeup. So I try by all means to look for simpler and easier ways of uh, yeah, you know, having my face be done. So yeah, that was it. That was my mini event. And um, if you are new here, uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and uh, a like, share, laugh at me. Yes, you are more than welcome to just laugh your heart out because sis can't understand what's happening with the eyes like honestly am i gonna go into christmas without lashes or what's the story but i now bring it back to you guys to help me uh help me help a sister out let me know what i can use to grow my lashes back until next time Love you guys. Bye-bye.